Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do a 12 by 12 um, cover page for my 2020 uh, scrapbook album. The paper that I'm using for today is actually from scrapbook.com. It's from Cartabella, it's from the Oh Happy Day, and the paper is called Tiny Floral. My paper measures 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and today I inked my edges with my Stampin' Up! Early Espresso. To start off, I do have two strips of paper. Uh, for the bottom, it measures 11 and a half by one and three quarters. For the top one, it measures um, one and a half. I have one for the top, one for the bottom. And funny enough, these two papers were just left over uh, paper from a different project that I decided to use instead of just having it laying around. Next, I do have uh, two border pieces. These two are just Google images that I brought down to my silhouette and trays. If anybody's interested, I do have a tutorial on that. Uh, for my border, it does measure two and a half. And this one, I just stretched it out to be 11 and a half, and this will go right here. And for my last border, uh, this is actually from the silhouette store. It's just, I think, you can search cloud border and it actually comes with two other borders so I'll go ahead and put this right up here and I know it's actually this layout is actually going to be a bit much but I figured it's the cover page why not I'll go ahead and glue everything with my zip dry glue Uh, my piece of uh, paper was a little bit long, so I decided to go ahead and cut it. And for my border, I'll try to go ahead and cover this bottom uh, line. Just like so. Okay. Next, I'll go ahead and back this on a piece of 12 by 12 craft cardstock paper.
Next, I do have my frame. My frame itself measures uh, seven and a half by five and three quarters. And this is just a Google image that I brought onto my silhouette and trace. Now for the inside, uh, my yellow cardstock measures five and one quarter by three and a half. And on that, my silhouette, I did do internal offset. Go ahead and place it right here. Now the rest of my pieces all come from Cricut Design Space, all but uh, one piece. And I'll let you know what file that is um, when I bring it up. To start off, I do have my banner. It does measure 11 and a half by four inches. And it actually only comes with the banner. Um, I added the numbers here afterwards. Go ahead and bring it up here. Next, I do have uh, two trees. For my apple tree, it measures five by two and a half. For this tree, it measures five by two and three quarters. Go ahead and place one here, and one down here. Next, I do have my gazebo. For my gazebo, it measures four and a half by three and three quarters. And um, I did pop it up between the layers and also on the center of the of my flowers I did end up using enamel dots. Go ahead and bring it up here. Next I do have my door. It does measure two and three quarters by three and one eighth. And the same thing here for my little uh, flowers on the center I added enamel dots. And everything has been paper piece. Go ahead and place it down here. And this is the only thing that's coming from the Silhouette store. It's my little fence. Uh, for my fence, it does measure one and one eighth by four and one eighth. And I have one for each side.
I do have a couple of little accessories. Butterfly. And there you have it. This is my 12 by 12 cover page for my 2020 album. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye for now.